Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, dude. Holy crap. I'm going to tell you right now. I have never done this for a Funko line. Do a video dedicated to a Funko line? Never. But it had to be done today. And today we got one of the greatest reveals this year for Funko. In, in my opinion. It's not a, a lot of people's opinion that it's the greatest one ever. But of course, since I'm a My Hero Academia head, I love anime. Seeing this line here, bro. It's like it kicked out of the park. Possibly best line for My Hero so far from Funko. Um, these collectibles look insanely good, dude. Insanely good. The exclusives. The comments, like I'm picking everything up from this line. Like I can't, I, bro. It's so good, so so good. Just just starting off, bro. We got a Kirishima metallic, a breakable pop. It looks insanely good. Like so so. Good. We're gonna get a Mirio Togata pop as Lamillion. We're gonna get finally the Lamillion pop that we've been asking for a long time, dude, for a while. And like ever since the He Man of Spotlight and season four of My Hero going through uh, overhauls, chambers, and all that crazy shit and with this crazy, amazing looking suit. So cool for this pop to be made. Anyways, we're gonna get <laughs> an Aizawa in his sleeping bag, which is insanely cool. Very, very cool pop. We're gonna get an Airy pop, of course. We've been rumored that this was gonna come for a while and it was pretty cool to see him here in pop form. And of course, we're getting Three of the same pops of this Deku with Airy Pop. Of course, this is the the Deku when he's on his like a thousand percent. Very cool pop. They're making that pop as a regular common pop, regular size, a jumbo size pop, which is a 10 inch pop. Of oh, this thing, this 10 inch pop, dude, this is gonna look insane on the collection. Insane. A regular size glow in the dark Funko Shop one, which I can tell right now, potentially grail pop right there. That's a potential grail right there. Like, everybody's gonna go after that pop. The pop looks amazing, and it's gonna look even crazier and glow in the dark form. It's gonna be freaking insane. Of course, Aries right behind him. Insanely cool, bro. That pop, oh my god, dude, I can't believe it. Okay, okay. Anyways, we're gonna go right along. We're gonna go to the next reveal, which is right here, the second part. Of course, this is more of the common pops right here. We got Tamaki. Pop for a while, dude. He looks amazing with the little tentacles on his the other hand and like the hawk feet on the on the bottom. Like such a cool pop. They're gonna look Tamaki. The million's gonna look really good with my Nejira Hara right there, which I'm very lucky to have. <laughs> very awesome together. The three, the big three, I think it's called. All, all of them to, to combine. And all that of course we're getting the deku we're getting i forgot her name this is the one that has like a claw and she basically turns into a dragon and like she's very cool we're getting a pop of her which is very cool of course we're getting a hot topic exclusive airy with his little like a uh, festival outfit that she wore from um my hero academia high school musical thing that happened through that episode <laughs> and that's when she first smiles but cool we're getting a pop of that very nice and of course probably my favorite exclusive that they revealed today has to be that overhaul version 2 bro that overhaul looks crazy bloody bro crazy bro that pop looks amazing man like probably as soon as that thing hit it chalice collectibles i ran at checkout and i finally got it I think they're still available. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if they're still available, but if they still are, I will definitely recommend you pick that up. The very cool pop, man. That shit is gonna look so good in the collection. So, so good. Especially alongside the the Deku, the new Deku, full calling. And finally, we're getting a Sir Night Eye Funko Pop, man. Oh my God. People have been asking for this pop for such a long time. And uh, we finally have it, man. We finally have it, which is a shame because um, last month when I went to MegaCon, the voice actor for, for Sir Night Eye was in the convention. It was kind of, ah, oh, man, I kind of wish, like, um, I could have brought, like, a little, like, um, what's that called? The pop box, a little, the little window. If I would have brought the window and give it to him to sign it for me, hey, man, we got Sir Night Eye Funko Pop finally, and that's pretty good. And, of course... Next time I see the voice actor, I will of course bring that pop with me. One, that's one thing, man. Like, ever since I got my first Funko Pop sign, which was the, 
I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. This baby right here. This baby. <laughs> Look at that, man. Oh my god, I can't get over this. Don't be the brag, man. Don't be the brag. Uh, one one other note that this pop right here, the 2017 exclusive Glow in the Dark All Might, went on sale a couple days ago through a Funimation website, but you had to be a subscriber. So, but uh, unfortunately, after that, a whole bunch of people have been getting cancellation emails that the pop was not available. So, a lot of people paid for that subscription to get that. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. Like, Funimation just keep finding random stocks of these pops. Like, what the hell, dude? Anyways, anyways, but yeah, I got this signed pop right here, of course, by Chris Sabat. Pretty cool stuff. Um, the reason I'm talking about signing is that I think what I'm gonna start doing is gonna I'm gonna buy two of each figure that has been revealed today and all all that, like getting a common of like Lamillion, common Airy, common Deku, and all the good stuff. I buy double of each figure and all that, and then pick one of them to get them signed and all that. So. That's a pretty cool thing to do, pretty cool thing. It'll be amazing to get my overhaul signed and all that, that would be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, so that's it for that page. And now we're gonna go to, of course, the last page right here. We're gonna get a comment, of course, Kamen Kirishima. We're gonna get a pop and tea of Toga right here. Of course, that Toga kind of released already, but the one that released before as a common had the mask, of course, or iconic mask right over her but this one it's basically the same pop it's missing the mask but uh for me i was like yeah not really the craziest thing ever but the shirt does those look pretty cool the shirt i do like the shirt of course the glow in the dark deku that we're gonna get that is potentially a grill right there man that shit is gonna go crazy once it release that's probably gonna release way before um Maybe right before this wave starts hitting stores and all that, it starts hitting websites. It's gonna go up right before that line goes up for sale for everybody. So I could probably see this guy dropping around, I don't know, November or somewhere like that. Somewhere through November. Just gotta keep an eye on that Funko shop on November, man. Somewhere that I'm not, I don't work for Funko or anything like that. I don't know their release dates or anything like that, but that's my speculation. I will think, that if you're gonna release it before the line and the line is gonna come out around the end of November, I'm probably thinking around November, the end of October, and my drop. So we don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna release at that time, but that's my speculation, that's what I think. But yo, and of course we're getting this little cute keychain of Lemillion, pretty cool stuff, uh, box lunch. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, we also got today uh, reveals for, for Pokemon. And we're actually getting a Dragonite, we're getting a Caterpie, and we're getting a Pidgeotto. Pretty cool stuff. And like Silver Squirtle. Why? <laughs> of course, I think the most... I mean, I think Dragonite is a pretty big deal. Dragonite is going to be a pretty big deal. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. I love Dragonite. I got two of those, of course. I got one of each of the Pidgeotto's and Caterpie. Uh, but the big one that really got revealed today is that 10-inch Charizard. <laughs> that 10-inch Charizard blew my mind, man. Blew my mind. Of course, again, we have heard some rumors that this was going to come out. The rumor that I last heard of was this was going to be a, uh, a New York Comic Con exclusive but apparently it's not so i think it's going to be releasing around december through january that's the little estimated time that it gave me when i pre-ordered mines and all that so we're getting that 10 inch charizard man that shit is gonna look crazy in the collection man. crazy dude it was really big by the way <laughs> i honestly don't have any space in my closet right now which is full of pops outside of the box i do have charmander 10 inch charmander it's gonna look pretty good with next to that I don't have I don't have a 10 inch Squirtle or Bulbasaur, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but I will get them soon. No worries. It's nothing crazy. I don't have to go insane that I don't have them, so I'll get them sometime. But uh, yo, that is very cool that we're getting a 10 inch uh, Charizard. Will there ever be an 18 inch Charizard? I don't think so, dude. <laughs> it will be crazy, man. 18 inch Charizard will be kind of insane. But uh, yo wow but all right guys that is it i'm not gonna talk for too long or anything like that i just wanted to talk about this amazing line right here the my hero academia line that was revealed today and uh yo very very excited 
very very excited for these pops right here 10 inch deco looks amazing um definitely the overhaul that thing is gonna look crazy man man lemillion looks pretty nice i've been wanting like lemillion in this full costume for a while and uh it's kind of cool that funko's already doing that so that's pretty cool to see man i'm pretty pretty happy about that and uh yo pretty nice man i'm really digging this line i'm gonna get every single one of them two of each i'll try my best um <laughs> most, mostly talking about the common ones not the exclusives or anything like that um I, i'm never gonna get two of these like i could get one <laughs> oh my god that would be crazy man but uh yo that is it that's just it guys I'm, I'm gonna stop talking thank you so much for watching this little video that i decided to do if you do like these type of videos me talking about certain lines that funko comes up with and everything like that let me know in the comments below i will try to do more so yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one stay positive